guys. Wanted to pop in and let you know I've decided to follow um, a heritage highway here in Nebraska, Highway 136, and it goes uh, across the southern part of Nebraska. And it's just whoopsie, rolling hills, and so far in this part. And I'll just pop in every now and then, let you know where we're going. Well, I'm still on Highway 136, um, going from the east to the, no, excuse me, from the west towards the east. I really haven't gone very far, uh, but you've all heard me say it. This is what this is about. Um, I'm stopping at all these historical markers. I didn't realize there was so much military activity in this part of the world. Um, so I'm doing my best to find them all, even if it means getting off the road. Uh, it's a nice day. It's warming up quickly now that the sun's come out, but it's been raining most of the day. A nice soft rain, and it's been cool. So right now, as you can see, I've got farm ground all the way around me. This looks like corn. And... I'm not sure what, what else there is around, but uh, anyway, I'm out of the hills that I shared with you earlier, and I'm going to keep going east. Not sure when I'll be making it to Omaha, but I'm sure having um, a great time. Hey guys, what you see here is pretty common for these little tiny towns here in the Midwest. It's just off the, on the highway, you just pull off the highway. There's two picnic tables. This one here is covered. There's the 110 outlet and a really cool uh, notebook that you sign. It's just a notebook with a pencil. And across the street is a gas station. I can't really tell if it's like a quick mart or looks like more of a quick, quick mart instead of a repair place. The prices are what I've been seeing everywhere I've been. Uh, 279 to 280 something for regular and then over three dollars for diesel. And that all just took place after Memorial Weekend or since Memorial Weekend. And I'm on the corner of Highway 136 and Nebraska Highway 5. Um, I'll pan around here. I believe that's probably the pit toilet outhouse, whatever you want to call it. A couple trash receptacles. And there's the water hydrant. So pretty nice. Um, I'm on my way to a historical marker. I have no idea what it is. I just Google historic landmarks, historical markers, whatever in my Google Maps. And just give me places to go. Oh, I just noticed there's a restaurant right up there. It looks pretty cool. I think it's called the Wagon Wheel. And I did notice on Google Maps they've got another city park with camping in it. I'm, if I choose to stay here, I'll be back um, and I'll show you what it's like. But I may go on down the road. But I wanted to let you know that, you know, if you're traveling in the Midwest, you're probably going to find free camping or super cheap everywhere. I went through a town um, earlier. They had a little city park with five hookups or sites, full hookups, including sewer, electric water sewer. It was $15 a night. Can't beat a deal like that. So, talk to you later. Well, guys, this is it. I realize I'm too close, but this is, um, my understanding, all that's left of a community of German immigrants that used to be here is this beautiful old church. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go inside or not. It's a Lutheran church, and we are in Lutheran country, and I'm Lutheran, so anyway, let's see what we can find out. Oh my, beautiful chandelier when you walk in. Look at the stained glass. Wow. Of course, I love them old doors. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful.
look at the altar on the baptismal font and all that beautiful stained glass. I gotta check out the font. Oh my God, it's marble. Oh my word. The balcony. Oh. Beautiful. Guys, here's the uh marker that talks about the community of that old church um, up the road and I think the Nebraska Department of Transportation is trying to get us all killed I had to come across the road and pull into a little farm pull in where the farmer probably comes in and moves his equipment in and out and starts as well but uh, I'm right on the highway I guess they're trying to kill us all. Guys, I'm in Hebron, Nebraska. And it's my understanding they've got uh, free or cheap camping here. I'm going to check it out. This is the town with the world's largest porch swing. And we were here, what was that, a year ago? Six months ago? I can't remember. Time flies. But uh, so far... Well, I already knew. It's a cute little town. I went through downtown to get here, but now I'm in the residential area. So, I'm come back with you when I uh, find this little camera. Guys, I didn't have my camera on, but when you come in, it takes you by the swimming pool and the baseball diamond. Oh, I see another RV over there get to watch a summer ball game tonight. That would be fun. Oh, the Hebron CCC and prisoner of war camps. Well, let's pull in here. And uh, get a sight. We'll walk up there after a bit and check that out. Oops, there's some thunder. I may be heading to the RV, but I wanted to show you this sign first. Um, I did find this campsite. I believe it was on freecampsites.net. But it's been several years because at that time, I guess it was $5. Or maybe they were tenters. So it appears that these uh, there's a walking trail all through town because I've noticed when I was driving through town to get here, I saw these paths going and they were going down um, into trees and there were benches, um, really cute to set on. And um, another thing I thought was cute, look at the little stop sign. So just to remind you to stop, and I've noticed there at each each uh, road crossing. So that's kind of cool. And there is a, another sign over here. Let's go check it out. Oh, this isn't the entrance I came in, um, but it's posted right here what the charges are. Very nice. I could probably technically get away with the $5 because... Um, I'm doing tent camping, essentially, uh, in a van, but it's worth $15. Besides, you know, I stayed for free last night, um, and I stayed, I paid, I donated, but I could have stayed for free my first two nights as well. So, starting to sprinkle, thunder's getting closer. So I guess I'll go 
sit in the van and enjoy my evening.